Hi everyone, and I'm excited tonight to tell you about this new package that I'm building called Learn Sim. This is my structural equation modeling course, which has mostly been available on YouTube, integrated into a Learn R tutorial where you can take the entire course in R Studio. So you could use this for yourself or supplement this in a classroom if you're teaching structural equation modeling. It's especially good for sort of online learning. So I've got the GitHub page pulled up here. It's available on um, through GitHub using DevTools. So if you come down here to the README, we can see kind of where it's at. I'm teaching this course right now and I'm updating as I go. And so if you want to install this, you can just highlight these couple of lines unless you need DevTools. And let's go over here to our studio. I'm going to paste this in. So one thing to notice is I have Learn R installed. And so I get this extra tutorial tab wherever you have your environment window. And the tutorials that are available as part of Learn R are actually pretty nice for people who are new to R, if you are interested in also adding those to your course. But let's get this installed. Once you install it, you'll see a couple of new tutorials from the uh, Learn Sim package. Uh, don't look at the data screening one until like tomorrow, <laughs> but today we could do the intro R1 by clicking on start tutorial right here. Or I have the exact code if you want to tell your students or yourself what pa which one to run first. So I like running it in the console because it doesn't load in the tutorial window, it loads separately. Um, so that's kind of the difference here. So you tell it to run. You may get asked when you um, <clears throat> install this package to update some other packages because you will have to install a couple of other things in the background like Levon. Right. Now I've actually already completed this so it's saved my answers but I just want to just click start over real quick so you can kind of see what the tutorial looks like. So on the left side here we have a um, navigation menu. On the right side we have the tutorial. So it'll all start with just kind of an introduction There'll be a video section, and this is really great if you want to use this as a flipped classroom. And so the videos are coming tonight. <laughs> and then the exercises. So we have it in a student enter their name, hit submit, says great, you got your name. And this kind of box will be used whenever there's a question and answer kind of area. Hit next. And then we can also have these sort of uh, code block areas. You can also do multiple choice if you're interested in this as a learn our tutorial, like building your own. Um, mostly I want students to be practicing code and answering, interpreting output. So that's a kind of two big things that you'll see here. But we, you can type in your answers, right? Um, or I could do the sequence function, one, two, one. Okay. The cool thing is you can hit run code. Oops. If you don't spell something right, it will give you an error message. Shows you the output can refresh and all of these have the solution so these tutorials are meant to be self-guided practice but you get stuck sometimes so on all of these I have solutions and so if you're gonna use this in your classroom it's really more of a check that the student is doing their work and practicing rather than a graded assignment so much but you could grade them if you wanted to um, I have separate assignments that are available on GitHub for this course that are more of the traditional graded assignments that take a couple of these tutorials and build them together. And those I have students do a markdown. Um, but I could put them into this tutorial as well and have just no solutions. Uh, and then we can keep going and answering all the questions. So I'm just going to kind of skip through these real quick. Allows us to work with data. Now, once a student gets to the end, if you want them to submit, I'm using the Learn Hash tutorial um, plugin, and it allows you to create a hash code of their submission. So the student could turn this into you, and you copy it, paste it in whatever um, learning management system you're using, email, whatever. But if the student wants to see what they're submitting, and the instructor um, uh, but a little instructor tutorial that allowed you to decode these, but you could also do it on yourself on our studio. You click decode and you can actually see that what it, what it's saving in this giant set of letters and numbers is the student's name. 
So open-ended questions get saved in one spot and exercises get saved in another. So I can see um, what they typed in the box. Okay. Since I have all the solutions, I might just check that they typed something in every box. Um, what feedback you gave them, I currently don't have any feedback built in. I don't have any of these checking because there are lots of ways to solve these problems. Um, and then if I had marked some sort of feedback or check, I could also do it correct. So if you have a multiple choice question, you can have them graded as yes, uh, correct or incorrect. Okay. So the student can see what they're turning in. Um, and if you're an instructor, you want to play around with it, you can kind of see how this works. So the nice thing is if you have a bunch of these codes, you could create yourself a giant data frame of all their answers and then use that to score if you're interested in scoring. I'm mostly interested in having students practice. <laughs> so this kind of thing just allows me to see that they opened it up, they typed stuff in it, and they did it. Okay. So what I've got so far is this introduction to R1 where I learned all the ins and outs of Learn R. And the tutorial's completed and the video is getting added as soon as it's done processing on YouTube. And then that one will be done. Tonight I'm also hoping to finish the data screening practice one. And uh, the next topic up is exploratory factor analysis. So each week I um, will hopefully be updating you guys with new tutorials. And this video is just to show you how all this works.